what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? I hope you guys are feeling good. Today as we're back here into new video guys, I'm excited, I'm ready. Uh, we're going to be reacting to 10 surprising facts about Mary in Islam. This is going to be my first time checking this out and I want to give it a try with you guys. You know how we do guys, we talk less right and react more. Let's get into this video. Miriam, aka Mary, the mother of Jesus, is not just a prominent figure in the religion of Christianity, but also in the religion of Islam. And in this episode, we're going to be exploring 10 surprising facts about Mary according to Islam. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. And now we've done videos about Jesus according to the religion of Islam before. And quite a bit of you asked for us to do a video on Mary, the mother of Jesus, according to the religion of Islam. So some of these facts may sound familiar, especially if you've seen our videos about about Jesus in the religion of Islam but either way I still want you to watch from 10 all the way down to number one so you don't miss any of them so starting with fact number 10 she gave birth to Jesus although she was a virgin it's a popular belief in Christianity but it's also found in the religion of Islam as well according to the Quran Surah 19 verses 20 to 21 it says this she said how can I have a boy while no man has touched me and I have not been unchaste he said thus it will be your Lord said says it is easy for me also because she gave birth while being a virgin she was falsely accused of infidelity one passage in the Quran says this she brought him Jesus to her people carrying him they said oh Mary you have certainly done a thing unprecedented O oh, sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor was your mother unchaste. So of course, they have the questions like, hey, you're a virgin. How, wh what, wh where'd you get a baby from? Fact number eight, according to the religion of Islam, she was also chosen by Allah above all women. And this belief is based from the Quran, the Surah question. 3 verses 42 that goes, when the angel said, O oh, Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the worlds. And this is probably why there is an entire chapter based on Mary in the Quran. And this is fact number seven. Her name is actually the central focal point of the 19th chapter of the Quran and is titled Surah Maryam. And in fact, Mary is the only woman that's actually referred to by her first name in all of the Quran. So Muslims view this as a very honorable status that was granted to her. And usually it's mostly prophets of God as well as messengers messengers and angels who have their first names mentioned in the Quran. Mary was also someone who experienced miracles right in front of her eyes. She experienced many of them continuously as a matter of fact. In the Quran Surah 3 verses 37, this is what it says. Every time Zechariah entered upon her in the prayer chamber, he found with her provision. He said, Oh Mary, from where is this coming to you? She said, It is Allah. Indeed, Allah provides for whom he wills with out account. So Muslim oh. scholars do agree that this text shows that food and sustenance were miraculously given to her from God regularly, seemingly out of nowhere. Also guys, I just wanted to mention, like I did say that we did a video about facts about Jesus according to the religion of Islam. I do recommend you check that video out after you finish watching this video. I'll link to it below in the video description section. Very interesting. A lot of similarities to Christianity and some differences. Yeah, it's very very fascinating. Also, I'm going to link to a playlist of videos that we've done about different people throughout history up until the present day. I recommend that playlist, especially if you want to learn a lot more about people from different parts of the world. Continuing now with fact number five, there's another passage about Mary in the Quran that kind of gives you a sense of her character. So Surah 66 verses 12 says this, and Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, she believed in the words of her Lord and his scriptures and was was devoutly obedient. So of course, like I did mention earlier in this episode, she was chaste, she guarded her chastity very well, but Mary was also very pious, meaning that she was 
very dedicated to her religion and she also lived a modest life. The next thing to note is that according to popular Muslim belief, Mary is one of the two most important women in the religion of Islam. There was a woman by the name of Fatima who was the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad as well as the wife of Ali ibn Abi Talib and she's probably the most important or at least the most well-known female figure in Islam. So much so that Fatima was given the title of Al-Zara meaning the illustrious. Mary however she's the dominant female figure in the Quran. So for most religions looking in they wouldn't necessarily associate Mary so much so with the religion of Islam but from the Islamic perspective Mary is held in such high regard in the religion. Next up at number three it's a historical fact relating to Mary. When some of the early Muslims were actually fleeing persecution in Mecca in 615 they fled to King Nijis of Abyssinia which is now modern Ethiopia and this was a Christian kingdom. So when the king then went and asked them for an account of this new faith which was Islam, Jafar ibn Abi Talib he recited the Quran and that's taken from Surah 19 verses 16 to 21 about Mary. So the king heard this and he recognized that there's a lot of similarities to Christianity so what he did was he offered Muslims asylum and protection during the time of persecution because of this. For fact number two it's interesting to note that in several places in the Middle East including places like Turkey, Lebanon, you'll find Christian shrines that are dedicated to Mary and that they're often visited by Muslim pilgrims. Although it is very frowned upon by the Salafi Wahhabi branches of Sunni Islam which by the way is the official form of Islam in Saudi Arabia. The practice however still exists and it has ancient roots and many Muslims still around the world do visit these shrines to Mary. And the final thing about Mary in the religion of Islam that I want to share in this episode is that Mary is known by various names. Like I mentioned Fatima was given a name the illustrious but Mary is also given certain titles in Islam. She's called Kanita and Mary is called this in Surah 66 verses 12 and this means constant submission to God and it also refers to her being fully devoted in prayer. Like I mentioned earlier in this episode she was very dedicated to her religion and was constantly in the prayer chamber all the time. Mary is also known as Siddika that means she who confirms the truth or she who has faith. Mary is called Siddika twice in the Quran as a matter of fact in Surah 5 verses 73 to 75 and she's also called that in Surah 66 verses 12. Then there is Sajida she who prostrates to God in worship that's also a title for Mary. Rakia is another title and that means she who bows down to God in worship. Tahira is also another title and that means she who is purified. Mustafia is she who was chosen and then the final name is Sa'ima meaning she who fasts. It's believed that Mary actually fasted for one half of the year in certain Muslim schools of thought. Alright guys so that's it for this episode about 10 surprising facts about Mary according to the origin of Islam. So as you can see there's many similarities to the account of Mary according to Christianity and there's some differences as well. Either way I hope you guys enjoyed this one and be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to check out the recommended episodes that I did mention in this episode and I'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Oh. According to Christian belief, like she was a really virtuous woman. She was different from any other woman in the entire world. She was special. She was unique. That was why she was chosen by God to, to give birth to Jesus Christ, um, the Son of God. So she's a different woman entirely and she's highly respected by Christians. Like a lot. She's highly respected by Christians. If you go to Catholic churches, um, you see, um, Take uh, images also uh, and um, statue of Mary and Catholic churches. And in Christians, ourselves, we respect the woman because she gave birth to the Messiah. So we respect her a lot. And Christians, we have high regard for her. And we see her different as a virtuous, virtuous woman. That's what we call her virtuous. So we special special and different. So this the similarities between us Christians and Muslim, when it comes to Mary itself, it's right there, like, there from number 10, number 10, 9, 8 was going, but there were some aspects we Christians do not um, entirely agree about with Mary over here when he was um, making gentle present thoughts. So I know she's a very, very, very special and virtuous woman. When it comes from Matthew, 
itself going like the story of Jesus Christ based on how everything started. It was really, really amazing. Really, really interesting story. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as can. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. You know how to do it, guys. So see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all.